Time to do another Scottish craft beer taste test. This time, Raven Amber Ale. Let's see here. From the Orkney Brewery. It says malty, balanced, and biscuity. And by biscuit, they mean cookie. Uh, it means something different over here. Is a classic bitter ale. Mm, not my favorite, but we'll see. I'm going to keep it open mind. Uh, complex and rewarding, whilst remaining refreshing and easy to drink on any occasion. On the nose, this mid-golden ale is a complex mixture of roasted and biscuit-like malt aromas with spicy, resinous hop notes. Now, I'm not reading slow because I'm uneducated. The print is insanely small. On the palate, the complexity continues with the biscuit malt and the spicy citrus fruit flavors d dominating giving way to a crisp dry hop bitterness it is 3.8 percent alcohol by volume so it is not an 80 shilling beer 80 shilling beers are always between four and a half and five and five 4.5 and 5.5 percent alcohol by volume so this doesn't quite rise to that level let's get him on the cork here yeah that's right spray beer all over your laptop this Dead brilliant, that's what that is. Okay, whoa, bibbles. Okay, let's check out that color. Mid golden, it said. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think. A little darker than I was expecting. Good thick foam. Hmm. Wow, it's a good head. Yeah, if you're going to charge that much for a craft beer, you ought to get a full pint. And that's what we've got. Let's give it a nose. I'm not getting the maltiness, but... It's so complex that my savage palate can't really suss it out. A hint of malt and a hint of bitter. Hmm, let's see. Actually, that's pretty good. It's pretty good. But to buy it again? No, not for that price. Pretty good ain't gonna get the nut. Gotta knock my socks off, and I still got my socks on, so there's that. But I'm far from wasting a beer, so. Slanja. Before I go, it is slightly bitter. If it wasn't for that, it would be a great beer. That's like some, a lot of folks like that bitterness, though. Uh, I, I'm not getting the complexity of it. Then again, I don't have a very sophisticated palate. I'm sure if someone with a more sophisticated palate would probably just dive right in and just give you all kinds of great information. It does have a maltiness to it, but that's not, not... I like a really malty beer. And my favorites are tend to be very malty, you know, like Red Revival by Glenn Spian or uh, Nessie's Monster Mash by Loch Ness Brewery. Those are super malty beers, and I love them the bits. This one's just a touch of malt, and, and then you got that that hoppy, bitter kind of slap in the face at the end there. But it'll do. Slodge it. <laughs>